Today, I'm going to show you how to build anything with Claude code and Google anti gravity. It's actually pretty easy to integrate the two, and you can use Google anti gravity for free. You can also get Claude for free directly inside there if you want access to the free API for this. This is a really powerful coder. So, once you've downloaded it, which you can do over here, you can then go over to anti gravity. And inside anti gravity, what you want to make sure if you're using Claude code is that you download the extension. So, on the left hand side here, you're going to select extensions, then you're going to type in Claude. From here, Claude should pop up. Let's wait for it to load. Here we go. So you've got Claude code for VS code, right? So we're going to click install on that, trust publisher and install. And this will actually allow you to install MCPs as well, which is pretty cool. But also it can run in your terminal whilst you're coding a project, right? So I'll show you an example of this in a second. If we go over to, as you can see, we've got Claude code inside anti-gravity now. What you're going to do from here is you go over to the Explorer and then you're going to start typing and coding whatever you want, right? So for example, here, you can see we've already got this project ready to go. And this is for creating a project system, right? So for example, here, you can see the page that we've created. And if you go to, for example, just run this page, you'll actually load up the page that we've previously created inside anti-gravity, right? So this was for a to-do list or a typing list. I think last time I checked, it's just going to load and open that up. And you can see we're using Gemini Flash for this just because it's the fastest, but you can switch between Claude Sonnet 4.5 thinking, Opus 4.5, etc. And you can use those for free within limits inside Google anti-gravity. So this is going to run the project. And then I'm going to show you how to integrate Claude code in a second, right? So if you Check here, for example, it's loading up the browser and it's going to open up a typing test app that we've built, right? And so with this typing test app, we've built it with anti-gravity, we've coded it out, et cetera. But we can actually use Claude code in a second to improve that a lot, right? It's just going to use this agent now to control the browser. You can see and tell that's being used by the agent by the blue background on the side, which is now gone. So that's finished. And you can see here that it's finished running the page, right? Now, how can you use Claude code and why would you use Claude code inside anti-gravity? The thing is, if we actually go to, let's go to view, and then we're just going to open up the terminal here. So if we go to terminal at the top, and then we click on new terminal, we're just going to open up Claude code. So if we type in Claude there, it's going to open up. Yes, continue. And now we can actually use Claude code in the terminal inside our project on anti-gravity. Now, why would you want to do that? Number one, obviously, from everything that I've tested, and I've spent thousands of hours testing this stuff, Claude is by far a superior model when it comes to coding. Now, you could use Claude Opus within the chat here, but the problem with that is, number one, there's limits. And number two, it's not going to, it's going to run out of limits. But then also, if you're already paying for Claude, you don't want to pay for anti-gravity to get more limits inside Claude. And also, it's quite easy just to give it command inside this section and then it will edit the project for you the other thing that i would say is like some people say why don't you use gemini flash or gemini pro etc inside the drop down here the thing is that claude is a better coder right and claude code especially is just insanely powerful right so for example if we take the like, of the project we just loaded which is this one it's okay but it's average right it's not that great so what we can actually do here is we can go into claude code and say okay make the design plus you of this app 10 times better, more modern, beautiful, interesting, dopamine inducing, bright colors, crazy effects, etc. Right. Just to make it a bit more interesting, just to make it more visual for you watching at home as well. Right. And so now it's going to use Claude code and it's going to start editing the files that we have inside this project so that we can combine it with the power of anti-gravity. And I think when you combine both, you're going to get the best possible outputs. You don't have to use this, you know, to get good outputs from anti-gravity. But if you want the creme de la creme of coding, then we're going to go ahead with this. Now, the other thing that I would say here is I'm not a coder. I don't understand HTML. I don't understand CSS. So you don't need to be a coder. Literally, all you're typing in is plain English into the terminal here. And then it's going to go off and do its magic. Some people say, why is anti-gravity better than something like, for example, Visual Studio Code? Honestly, I've found that Visual Studio Code is a little bit techy to use, a little bit more technical if you're not a coder. The other thing that I'd say is like anti-gravity is actually free and it comes with everything pre-installed, right? So it comes with, for example, Gemini 3 Pro, Free Flash, Claude Sonic 4.5, Claude Opus 4.5, right? And these are paid APIs normally, but you can use them for free within limits inside anti-gravity. The other thing that I like with anti-gravity is it has a built-in computer use agent so that it can test and self-iterate the project 
inside the chat here. And previously when I've tested stuff out, like for example, Klein, Visual Studio Code, I don't really use them anymore just because I find them like super buggy. And also like the UI is pretty bad when you test them out normally. Maybe that's changed. But for me, I think the anti-gravity, even the first time I used it, was really much better. And so you can see here, we've now got the CSS being edited with animation and effects. And the other thing I like here is like, it gives you a plain English breakdown of everything that's doing in the meantime, right? You could also code out multiple projects if you wanted to just open up new windows and then start coding other stuff out. But that's basically how this works. Now, if we go to the video notes from today, let me show you this. I've actually included some video notes and an extra video tutorial inside the AI success lab that just breaks down what we're doing, what we're building, etc. And you could build all sorts of stuff. So for example, for me, what would be useful? For example, I could build out a lead magnet for the AI profit boardroom, and I could use this prompt inside anti-gravity with Claude code. I could also, for example, generate an SEO content idea generator for Goldie agency, which is perfect for my SEO agency. I could create a daily accountability tracker, right? Because I track a lot. I like to hold myself accountable and I could do that. Even for personal stuff like a Muay Thai training log would be pretty good as well, right? And what I've also included here, if you really want to learn anti-gravity, if you want to understand it step-by-step, step, I've built out a 30-day plan. As you can see right here, this is completely free inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments in the description. But it shows you step by step how to use this stuff and how to get results with this stuff. All right. So we'll come back to anti gravity in a second. But I just want to show you that there's a full framework and a full 30 day plan inside the AI Success Lab from today. Now, we'll come up onto the old way and the new way. I just want to see where anti gravity is up to with Claude Code. And you can see sometimes it will ask me to allow edits and that sort of thing. So I'm going to say, yes, allow all edits during the session. So sometimes it is going to ask you for permission to edit files, to edit certain things, etc., which is totally normal because it doesn't want to go off and do some crazy stuff without your permission. And so now it's editing the files inside a project. And this is all getting done whilst I'm talking to you, right? Now, if we go back to the notes from today, let's talk about the old way versus the new way, because everything's pretty much changed here, right? So the old way was like, you have an old idea for a business tool, you write a specification document, you find a developer to build it, you wait weeks and months for delivery, it gets expensive, then every change gets more expensive, and then half of what gets built isn't actually what you wanted, and you eventually end up giving up on custom tools and using generic software, right? That was the old way before anti-gravity. The new way is you have an idea for a business tool, you open anti-gravity of Claude code, you describe what you want in plain English, you watch AI agents build it in real time. It takes minutes or hours instead of weeks. It's free to use anti-gravity. Bear in mind, Claude code is not free, but you can use Claude APIs inside anti-gravity. The changes happen instantly by just describing what you want. You iterate until it's exactly how you imagined, and then you have custom tools that fit your exact preferences, right? That's the difference here. So if we go back to anti-gravity now, it's now editing the scripts. It's already updated the HTML and the CSS. Perfect. I can see inside the code there, it was talking about confetti and that sort of thing. So it's definitely adding some more animations inside there. Rick said he's having dinner. If you're having dinner, mate, you can play it in the background. No, I'm just kidding. If you can't catch it, just watch the replay back inside the live section of YouTube, and then you can watch the replays back. So it's adding effects and celebrations. In the meantime, whilst we're waiting for that, let's come back to some of the limiting beliefs that might be holding you back from doing this stuff. Some people say, I need to learn coding to build apps. The truth is, you look at, for example, people like Richard Branson. He built Virgin without knowing how to fly planes, right? He hired pilots. He described where he wanted to go. The planes got there. And it's the same with this. You don't need to know how to code to get this to work. You just need to know what you want the code to do. And that's a completely different skill. And you already have it, right? So every time you've explained to someone what you need done, every time you've given instructions to a team member, every time you've described a problem clearly, you are coding in plain English. And now AI agents understand plain English. So really the new empowering belief here is your ability to describe what you want is more valuable than technical coding skills in the age of AI, right? People say AI coding skills are too buggy and unreliable, right? But the truth is like early cars broke down constantly and people said horses were more reliable and they were right at that moment, but they were wrong about the trend. Okay. So like AI coding tools were buggy last year, but they're dramatically better this year. And anti-gravity plus Claude code represents a leap. So multiple agents check each other's work. They fix errors automatically. There's real time testing and the reliability compounds with each update. So we're past the early adoption phase. And I would say this is getting more and more mainstream ready. So really the new empowering belief that you want here is like AI coding tools have crossed the reliability threshold and improved faster than any technology in history. Now bear in mind, what's it going to be like in six months, three months, et cetera. And right? so it's finished coding this out now, as you can see. And then it says you can just open it up in your browser to experience the new design. So let's open it up. 
I'm going to click on open and that should launch the page for us. And just to be clear here, we've built the base with anti-gravity on the right hand side, and then we've coded it out with claw code here. So we're going to open that up and boom, look at that. How much nicer does that look? So if we have a look, this was the old way with anti-gravity, right? So let's compare these side by side. Right. This is the old version with anti-gravity. It's okay. Like it does the job. It does the bare minimum, right? But if you want something that's a bit more fun, that's a bit more interesting, look at the background and the animations, the dopamine inducing colors, the way that it's designed, etc. This is 10 times more better, right? And so look at that. When we actually do the, the actual typing, it looks 10 times better, right? So it's just a much nicer UI. Looks more interesting. It's made me realize I need to improve my typing skills. But you get the point. And so that's why I recommend using claw code inside anti-gravity instead of anti-gravity itself for everything, right? Do the base with anti-gravity, get the code, get most of the base done and the functionality done, and then you can use claw code later. The other cool thing that you can do here if you go to additional options is you can install MCP servers. So for example, you could install Firebase if you need the backend or Superbase, right? And you can connect those. You can always use stuff like Perplexity Ask, which will link it to Perplexity's MCP. But you can see a list of all the MCPs you can connect right there. And then you can just click on that and start installing it. Right. Pretty easy. So thanks so much for watching. That is exactly how to use anti-gravity. I've given you the custom framework for today. I've given you the breakdown of all the prompts that you can use, the 30-day plan. What also done is included inside the notes from today, all the limiting beliefs that might hold you back, plus the old way versus the new way, so that you can really adapt to using this. And then finally, what I've actually done is include 100 prompts for anti-gravity and core code. So if you need stuff, for example, for lead generation tools, for generating, for example, content creation tools, whatever tools you want to build, we've got prompts for it inside the AI Success Lab. And this is a completely free community that connects you with 43,000 AI builders. All right, so just to recap everything that we've covered today, we've covered anti-gravity, Claude code, the MCPs, and the whole framework that you can use with a 30-day plan, the old way, and the key beliefs that we've really transformed, right? So for example, some people say, I need to learn coding, but really you just need to describe what you want clearly. Some people say AI tools are too boggy, but you can see here how they actually worked. Others will say it was too complicated for AI, but complexity is accumulated simplicity, my friends. You might say you're not technical enough, but knowing what you need is enough. You don't need to be technical. Other people say free can't be good, but you saw the first version of anti-gravity's response. If free means companies are competing for your attention, right? It takes time from business, some people say, but actually you get a lot of time saved, right? So if you're worried that you're too busy to implement this, actually it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run, right? Other people say, I should wait until this is better, but starting now beats waiting for perfect. So you can see all the limited beliefs that have transformed, all the prompts, everything else, and that's inside the AI Success Lab. You can just ask ChatGPT if you can't find it inside the link in the comments description. And then if you want to get help, support, personally connect with me, etc. You can do that inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments in the description. 2,000 serious AI builders. We have a daily accountability group in there in case you watch a lot of videos but don't implement everything. That will hold you accountable, right? You can also post inside the community, ask any questions you have. On top of that, you can post your wins and your goals here. So you can see, for example, Justin was posting about this amazing AI avatar that he built. You can see here, Vladimir built a back checker prototype. And you can see here, Sandra is feeling very accomplished, right? So these are people winning with AI. If you want to join a group of winners and a tribe of winners, join the AI profit board. On top of that, you can ask questions. I answer these personally. Plus, we all help and support you along the way. On top of that, what we can actually do is inside the goal section here, you can post your goals and that sort of thing. Now, you also be able to get on four coaching calls per week. So you can jump on the live coaching calls, join a PhD trained scientist who can help you live in person, answer all your questions. If you struggle with business automation, you know, you want to learn how to use AI for business automation, you can get the six week AI masterclass here and go from complete beginner to expert to implement and decide your business. If you struggle with overwhelm, we actually have a focus protocol to save you time, keep you focused, which is what I personally use to stay focused. If you wanna learn how to build AI avatar videos, you'll get our full process right here. If you wanna get more clients through agency, then you can check out this section. And if you want help on AI SEO, well, you can check out this section right here on AI SEO, right? So everything you need is inside the AI Profit